if you got a car with no car notes or you buy a car straight up, you know what I'm saying? You definitely should use Turo because that's going to be all profit in your pocket. I'm telling you. The possibility that dreams from long ago may still come true, even if they, even if, even if, even if they look lost forever. What's good, y'all? Hey, Zo, back with another video. Hope y'all doing well out there. Now, this video, I want to talk about Turo a little bit. Um, I've been on Turo for what? two months now it'll be three months in september and i've been getting some dms recently about people asking me like you know what i'm saying is turo worth it i guess they're considering it and you know i've been talking to them in the dms and everything but i feel like i want to make a video about it for anybody else that's you know what i'm saying considering turo i'm gonna let y'all know in my first two to three months if i feel like it's worth it and i feel like right now is a good time because Somebody actually just canceled on me today for the first time. I think it's the first time. Yeah, for the first time, somebody canceled on me today. But um, yeah, she actually booked the trip yesterday, like probably like 6 p.m., 7 p.m. She booked it for 3 p.m. today, and it's only gonna be for one day. You know what I'm saying? So um, yeah, she hit me up like a couple hours ago, let me know like a little bit ahead of time, like, yeah, um, my husband, he has cancer. And you know we was going to get the get the whip today, but he having some issues right now, so I might gotta take him into the doctor and everything. So I was like, okay, cool, just let me know. And then she just let me know probably like 30 minutes ago, like yeah, she got to take him in, so she got to cancel and all that. So that was my first time getting canceled. And um, Turo actually paid me for half the uh, half of the trip, so that's something I learned. Watch out. To Construction on uh, road ahead. Yeah, right? Rude. Um, but no, <laughs> Turo actually paid me for half of the trip. So, you know, I learned that today when you get canceled on, at least when it's last minute, um, they pay you, I guess, half of it. From what I've seen today, they pay me half of it. So I think that's a good benefit. You know what I'm saying? If somebody canceled on you, it ain't like you ain't making no money for the day. You can still get a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Get a little percentage of it. So I think that's pretty good, pretty clutch. You know what I'm saying? Getting paid for not doing anything. I only got to go home and get it cleaned up or nothing like that you know what i'm saying i think so i think that's pretty good but uh anyways so overall though let me let y'all know if i really feel like it's worth it so one thing that's going to determine if it's worth it is the kind of car you get you know what i'm saying the kind of car you get i feel like plays a big part on if you're going to get bookings and how much you can charge per day and also how much your car note going to be or how much it's going to cost to get you know what i'm saying so the high demand cars i would say are the luxury cars and the teslas um, every time i get on turo i see teslas on that junk so you know what i'm saying the luxury cars and teslas always high demand so if you did spend some money on a luxury car or a tesla or something like that bro i feel like you're gonna make that money back quick but also obviously you got higher maintenance you know what i'm saying so it's all about you thinking ahead of time like how much is it going to cost me to maintain this car pay for the car note insurance you know what i'm saying and how much am i going to charge per day how much can i really make off of this kind of car so y'all gotta be strategic with it you know what i'm saying i was strategic with what i got you know what i'm saying the car i got right now well really a truck um the truck i got right now that i got on turo it's a very like versatile customer base if that makes sense so so far i've had people that look like me by themselves pick it up I done had couples pick it up. I done had couples with a baby pick it up. I done had, you know what I'm saying, a little bit of everybody. People by themselves, people with their homies, people with their family and kids. I done had a little bit of everything, but that's exactly what I got, the truck I got for the SUV that I got. That's exactly why I got it because I didn't want to like limit myself to like a certain customer base. So, you know, when you were like picking out a car, you should, very, you should be very aware like what kind of people are attracted to this kind of car. You know what I'm saying? Am I gonna get some ghetto people? Or am I gonna attract families that's just traveling to the city? You know what I'm saying? That type of stuff. It's gonna play a big part of you getting booked. You know what I'm saying? If you limit yourself to like younger people who want something flashy or something like that, you kind of cutting off the other people that could book with you. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no family, no white family, you know what I'm saying? With two kids want to book a blacked out charger. Like that ain't gonna happen, bruh. You know what I'm saying? So. Just be smart about what you what you gonna uh, what you gonna cop, and you know what I'm saying that plays a big part because you open your options up a lot more when you just get like a family family type vehicle. You know what I'm saying? 
So that's the first thing that's gonna determine if it's worth it, the kind of car you get, you know what I'm saying? So do y'all research on that. So you can choose wisely on getting the car that's actually gonna be getting booked, you know what I'm saying, constantly. Okay, so the next thing that's gonna determine if it's worth it for you is your location. Where are you located? Where are you trying to rent your cars out? I would not recommend starting a turtle business if you live inside a place where you don't get a lot of tourists or people traveling to see the city. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't recommend that. It's like getting an Airbnb somewhere where people don't travel. Like, you're not gonna be getting booked. You know what I'm saying? So if you're thinking about starting turtle business, you should very much pay attention to your location and where you live. So me, y'all know I live inside Virginia. But basically the whole DMV, you know what I'm saying? I be around the whole DMV. So um, so people are always traveling to Virginia to go into DC or traveling to Maryland to go into DC, you know what I'm saying? Or traveling to the National Harbor, stuff like that. So they always like, the first message I always get with majority of people is, hey, I'm traveling to DC. You know what I'm saying? They let me know what they got going on for their trip. I'm traveling to DC. That type of stuff is always coming inside my DM. Somebody say I'm traveling to DC. So that lets me know like I'm in a high demand area, that's why I'm constantly getting booked. You know what I'm saying? So I don't want y'all to go out here and just get a car, think you'll be getting bookings like back to back to back. If you're inside an area that people not, you know what I'm saying, highly traveling to, that ain't gonna that ain't gonna happen. So if I was y'all, if you inside Florida, if you in New York, if you in DC, uh, Philadelphia, I would say, you know what I'm saying, Vegas, California, Texas, these are cities people are always traveling to, you know what I'm saying? Chicago, maybe. Um, these are places people are always traveling to, whether it's for fun or, you know, for work stuff, you know what I'm saying? So I get a lot of people to travel to DC for work stuff too. So just pay attention to your location, you know what I'm saying? That's gonna affect how much demand you get with your vehicle. It plays a big part, that's what I realized myself. But my cousin, he lives in New Jersey, he always getting bookings too. So, so even if you're not inside one of the major cities or major states, whatever the case, you can still be getting bookings, bro. And if you buy an airport, that's gonna work out even better for you. You know what I'm saying? Because you can drop it off at the airport and you get paid more for that. More people want to just have their car dropped off with them. You might got to go out your way a little bit, but hey, you're going to get paid more and it's going to increase your bookings. You know what I'm saying? So pay attention to your location if you're considering doing Turo. The kind of car you get and the location is going to determine if it's worth it. And the third thing, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if it's that important. I just know it's something that's worked for me is having a good appearance of the car. You know what I'm saying? How does your car look in the pictures? Now, me, I'm gonna let y'all know a quick little tip. One thing I learned from being on YouTube and you know creating thumbnails over the years, one thing that catches people's attention is eyes. You know what I'm saying? So you on your homepage or you scrolling down your feed or whatever the case, for some reason we just like program to, you know what I'm saying, see eyeballs. You know what I'm saying? So those are thumbnails that catch your attention when somebody's face is big inside the uh, thumbnail. You know what I'm saying? Streamers do this a lot. And a lot of other content creators put their face inside this thumbnail with the point where you can see their eyes, you know what I'm saying? Catches people's attention. So one thing I did personally for my Turo business is the car thumbnails that I have, the car pictures that I have, I have the headlights on. So when people scrolling down, they see the two headlights basically staring at them, you know what I'm saying? That's my first picture. Like, it got the headlights staring at you, so it basically catches our attention, you know what I'm saying? Just like green, yellow, red, these colors catch our attention. It's other ways to catch people's attention. So that's one way is eyes. So I did the same thing with my car thumbnails and car photos, um, making sure my headlights are on. So when people scrolling down, the eyes or the headlights catch their attention. So if you're gonna be on Turo and you wanna make sure you're getting booked, I would say make sure you got good pictures and preferably that first picture should be the front with the headlights on. Make your car look good. Taking pictures is a big thing in getting bookings, y'all. Like, for real, for real. Just think about everything you buy on Amazon or buy anywhere. If it ain't got no good pictures, no good quality pictures, looking like it's kept up, like ain't nobody gonna buy that, bro. Ain't nobody wanna spend any money on that, you know what I'm saying? So, make sure you're taking good pictures. That's gonna help you increase your bookings. The first day that I put my car on that junk, I just took some regular, regular pictures, like from the side and everything. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't get no bookings. But the next day I changed the pictures, took way better pictures, high quality pictures, and I immediately started getting bookings. So if you wanna make sure Turo is worth it, then yeah, make sure you're taking quality pictures. Now, let me talk about what y'all really wanna hear about, the money, okay? I know you came in for the money. Is it worth it? That's what really matters. Now, the money thing, I'm gonna let y'all know the most I've made so far in my two to three months is, by the way, somebody booked it for a whole month from July 27th to August 28th, basically yesterday. You know what I'm saying? They booked it for a whole month. So I know 
now if my car is booked out for a whole month how much i can make well at the price it's at right now so right now it's in the 40s you know what i'm saying 40s dollars a day you know what i'm saying so eventually i'm gonna move it up but right now i'm cool where it's at as long as it's getting booked um but yeah so i know the potential to make a month if I, if i leave it inside the 40s now i made like 870 dollars like close to 900 so if my car gets booked every day for a month then it's like 900 dollars at 40 something dollars a day so i'm cool with that right now you know what i'm saying that covers the car note covers the insurance you know it covers whatever i might need oil change and stuff like that it covers all that so to me you know what i'm saying it is worth it so i feel like that's a good profit for me you know what i'm saying but uh yeah it's all about the price you set per day and does it make sense ain't nobody about to book no toyota corolla for 70 dollars a day you know what i'm saying it gotta make sense you know what i'm saying so just be mindful of the car you got and how much you want to price it for and if something ain't working it ain't getting booked maybe you need to lower the price just make it make sense you know what i'm saying don't do not, don't do nothing outrageous don't be money hungry you know what i'm saying just get your bookings get your reviews take better pictures offer the extras like you know what i'm saying delivering it to people or dropping it off at the airport and if you do everything i just said inside this video it's gonna be worth it you know what i'm saying good pictures like i said a vehicle that's in high demand it don't gotta be no sports car but just make it a car that a lot of people would buy a lot of people would like to drive whether they buy themselves with their girl or with their family like make it like open up your options make sure it's a car that's you know what i'm saying the customer base is a wide variety all right also like i said preferably be inside of a high demand location where people are traveling to i feel like that's one of the biggest things too if you're inside a high demand area and you got a nice car on that joint you're going to get booked for sure so that's my thoughts on turtle so far y'all to me it is worth it um it's easy money all you do is drop off the key like i said before get an oil change make sure it's clean basic stuff you know what i'm saying then you get paid for it so i think it is worth it and you know the more you increase your fleet then the more profit you will be making you know what i'm saying my cousin making like over four grand a month off of turtle he probably got like 10 cars or something like that he got a lot of cars and he on turtle making bread so you know one car i done made some good money so far but i know like if you increase your fleet and you inside a high demand area yeah that money gonna start stacking up for real for real so yeah y'all comment y'all thoughts on this video you know what i'm saying like i said to me it is worth it but you know everybody got their own experience if you are on turtle comment down below your experience and um yeah i'm gonna check it out and see what you got to say what you've been through and everything other than that though um y'all like this video share this video subscribe if you're new i'm gonna holler on this one man peace out the possibility that dreams from long ago may still come true even if they even if, even if, even if they look lost forever